Hey guys, it's Jet888 here. It's April 10th, the day after Easter. Easter's anagram is A reset. It's foggy today, and it was foggy last night. Really foggy. I drove all up and down the coast, not up and down, but I drove up the coast um, from San Diego to Orange County, and it was very foggy, which was kind of unusual for this time of year. Look at the dew on this, this sturgeon here. Actually, dew is a nice sign, but it's kind of unusual. It's an unusual time to have so much moisture in the air. And it's after um, 9 o'clock. I love this nasturgeon, but it's literally taking over my yard. You can eat this, you know, it's spicy, so I guess that means it can clean the blood a little bit. Here's a young fig tree. No fruit yet. It gave me fruit last year, though. Okay, we're going to head inside. Here's some borage. It's a nice little plant to grow. Tastes like cucumbers. Little flowers taste like cucumbers and then they have little seeds and it's like an omega-3 that's in the little seed, which is really nice. I'm sure the plants appreciate the moisture, the dew, the fog, but um, it's just very unusual this time of year. So I asked, when are the best or most common months for fog in San Diego along the um, Pacific Coast here? So I saw it yesterday, which was April 9th, and today is the 10th. This article said from June to September. Or not, that's not April. This is most likely between October and February. That's not April. This one said... January. That's not April. This one stated the May, um, April, what's it? May gray and June gloom. That's not April. So I looked at April's just yesterday's date, 4 9, which is Big Chief, which was also Easter, which is also a reset. That was yesterday. Today's date was yesterday that I'm talking about. And looking at the anagram, it says big fish. Big fish, as in, well, fish, as in fish, like that. Or microfish, like that. And microfish is gates, life and death, lock and load, death con one, just among a few. And also a virus, because it has the same simple in English gematria. So yesterday was when I saw the fog. That was April 9th, and here on this Gematra, it's 4-9, which is April 9th, and the Jewish Gematra, and also 4-9 in the simple Gematra, so I thought that was weird. It also has the 9-4 in the middle one, which is English Gematria. So there's a lot of 9-4s and 4-9s there. So also looking at 4-9, which is a big chief, I also let's see, reduced the numbers, and it was 13, 15, and 13, which were, when it's totally reduced is 464, which in Gematria, um, 464 is also smartphone. Smartphone, 464. So also looking at yesterday's date, Big Chief, because that's when the whole fog rolled in, so Big Chief. It's also Eagles and global, and dates, which I'm looking at the dates, and well, and I'll show you about that. That goes back to the whole, um, what's it? Vinyl chloride, which was one of the gases and toxins that was released during that um, Palestine train wreck thing. And that hydrogen cyanide that was also part of 
the toxins that were released and that hydrogen um, cyanide, remember yesterday I mentioned it's HCN and that's part of that whole space oddity song. Remember uh, ground control to major tongue? Ground control. So when you've got the fog coming in the ground, that's kind of ground control. That goes back to the fog of war. But that hydrogen cyanide, it talks about having the bitter almond-like odor, and it says here um, it's a rodenticide and a human poison, as well as for killing whales. So when I see the word whale, as part of the big chief, um, you know, the 4-9 date, it's kind of weird. So that HCN, which was the hydrogen cyanide, it says that it suggests that HCN monomer is the basic unit of the polymer, which is what the vinyl chloride was, and that's what they use for the PVC plastic piping too. I wonder if anyone's ever asked the train company North Folk Southern what they're doing um, carrying so many of those toxins, and it says all nine. This is the uh, little article about it about who owned the train that derailed in Palestine, which is what I just Googled. The intrigue, it says, all nine happened on the same line now, which is also NWO, owned by North Fork, how do you say that? Norfolk Southern. And look at Norfolk Southern's logo. Have any of you guys noticed any horses when you watch anything on Netflix? You'll see a horse in every single movie. There's either a horse statue, mention horse, or what, and horse is also heroes. And Vanguard Group, Inc. is the largest individual Northfolk Southern shareholder, owning 18.53 million shares, representing 8.14% of the company. So it always goes back to Vanguard or BlackRock. So here are the top shareholders. Vanguard Group, BlackRock Institutional Trust Company, yeah, Real Trust, right? And State Street Global Advisors. And here they are. Vanguard, BlackRock, State Street Global, JP Morgan, Capital International, Lazard Assets, Capital World Investments, Wells Fargo, Dimensional Fund. And here, look at, the, here's the filing date, 12-31-22. And great, it's going down, ha ha. So looking at Big Chief and the train derailment in Ohio, which happened February 3rd. So here's James A. Squires. He's um, chairman of the board of chief executive officer of Norfolk Southern. So look at this, I think this is weird. Here's James A. Squires' name. I looked at the anagram and I get Q. Jew Air Masses and Jew is French for game or play. So Q play or game Air Masses and you know the breathing the air I can't breathe kind of uh, was one of the problems with Ohio but look at his picture see that reflection in the background doesn't it sort of look like that the reflection of the Microsoft logo so the train derailment happens February 3rd 2023 and he was CEO until May 1st so he got out of there and it's funny because when you look at his name, James A. Squires, it's 1271. And 1271, which is interesting too because 66611, but that's not his numbers. But 1271 is also Wake Up Neo. Like realize that you're in the matrix. Also 1271, which is also 201, which is like event 201, which is the whole... COVID-y tabletop exercise that the John Hopkins and um, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation were part of. It's also figure it out yet. It's also United States, but going back to the train, Norfolk, oh, it's also Tesla time machine, and I covered that yesterday. And it's also Toy Story and Death by Numbers is associated with his numerology. And Toy Story could be the Q Jew, the Jew, which is the game or play, 
which we do with toys. So play with the air. But he is now the CEO of Norfolk um, Railway, and his name is Alan H. Shaw. Alan H. Shaw. And his numerology and gematria, 522 and 87, is also Bill Gates. You can't get away from this guy. What a creep. But Ellen H. Shaw at 1069 in Jewish Gematria is also the singularity. And singularity, system theory, a dynamical and social systems, a context in which a small change can cause a large effect. Gravitational singularity. And let's look at this. Here's the pictures associated with technological singularity evolutionary substrate look at that disgusting picture that's we're all going to be um like microchipped these are just some weird images that sort of show what's coming this definition it says the technological singularity or simply singularity is a hypothetical future point in time at which the technological growth becomes uncontrollable and irreversible resulting in unforeseeable changes to human civilization. Yep, I think we better wake up. So looking at Alan Shaw, sorry if I'm skipping, I got a call, kind of interrupted. Um, Alan H. Shaw, if I look at his anagram, it's H-N-S Hawala. So just typing, looking really quickly, H-N-S, it came up as Handshake, uh, uses a coin system for name registration and also health network solutions. So, you know, just health network. You think, I think of the who when I think of that because they're trying to take over. But Hawala, this thing, Hawala is an informal method of transferring money without any physical money actually moving. It is described as a money transfer without money movement. Another definition is simply trust, like, like what none of us have right now. Hawala is used today as an alternative remittance channel that exists outside of traditional banking systems. And just a few words really quickly looking at the word Hawala. I see genetics, corruption, governance, codes, and Elon, and chaos. So looking at that Hawala word again, and it says um, alternative remittance channel and remittance, look at the globe, sending money. It's a non-commercial transfer of money by a foreign worker. Foreign worker. Now skipping here, here's a link that I sent in my um, community page in um, at YouTube. I sent it two days ago, so that was on the 8th, April 8th. It says the members of WHO, who have diplomatic immunity, so they can literally, well, I don't have to read that, but um, anyhow, look at this link that I sent. So talk about foreign workers. Here's Barbados. The Barbados Parliament gave all the people in the WHO diplomatic immunity and privileges, World Health Organization. That means they can do whatever the heck they want. So here's a link. It's really important to look at, I think. Try to check it out, you guys. So they get all the relief from taxes and rates. Isn't that neat? Here's number eight. It says the World Health Organization shall have the right to avail itself for telegraphic communications sent by it and containing only matter intended for publication by the press or for broadcasting, including communications addressed to or dispatched from places outside this island down here in nine one it talks about well, I'm not going to read all of it but they they talk about the, her majesty too which she's dead she's gone but their functions whatever according by law of England to an envoy of foreign sovereign power accredited to her majesty who she's dead now anyhow foreign workers that would be um, traitors wouldn't it if we're being infiltrated so, but anyhow, and then looking at today's date and yesterday, because that's when the fog came in, and I'm thinking of the fog of war stuff, but um, Deutsch, Ritual, I, Son of God, and Financial Crisis. That's another one, Financial Crisis. 
and looking at the fog of war because I think that that's what we're seeing. And look at that 91, as in if you flip that around, COVID-19. Um, but God wins, Ace of Wands, and Space Force. And look at that. Um, look at the Ace of Wands. So I looked up what the word Wands is from the word fog of war, which is 91. And I looked up Wands. And look at Wands is 61. You flip that around, it can be 91 or 19. Wands is also news. Same numerology as wands is news. So ace of news. And 366 and 61 is also Google and goo. I mean, if you look at that goo leg, goo, like what came out of that train. And G-O-O -O is flipped around for 007. That's also goo, which is the James Bond, which is M, which is MI6. And see, here's M is James Bond. M is code name held by a number of fictional characters. I think I've mentioned this before. And it's also an agency known as MI6. And you come down here, first appearance is Casino Royale, casinos. When I think of casinos, I also think of cards, and there's your Ace of Wands, and Ace is one of the card faces. All right, just to wrap it up, and I've got so much other stuff to say. This is just an offshoot today, but Fog is also Chow, which is hello and goodbye. It could be the beginning of the end, Alpha and Omega, but it's also Bank. So hold on to your hats today, you guys, and coming up, head on a swivel. And you guys remember when I showed you that little fig tree out front? In a few of the Bible passages, it mentions tending to the fig tree to look after one's master. And it said too in the Song of Solomon, and in the year of love, the tree formed its fruit early. One of the other lessons mentioned, it said that Jesus, he cursed the fig tree because he went out to look for fruit and there was none there. And so he cursed it. And he said to that tree, he said, may no one ever eat fruit from you again, which was such an ugly thing to say. But the next day they went out and saw that the fruit tree had withered um, and just was dead. So the lesson was basically that whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. So you have to believe in what you say. Your words have a lot of power, but you have to put the belief behind it too. So that's just a little teeny lesson quickly. But you know it's a little kind of strange off topic again. The word fig, 22, 132, and 22. It's also Fifi. Remember when Trump wrote, it's also a GIF, like the computer thing. But remember when Trump wrote about the Fifi? Remember that? That caused so much chaos? So maybe that was a little bit of a lesson or a sign. Because Fifi is fig. So if you believe it's going to happen or be, it will. But if you don't believe it, it doesn't have power over you. That was just a quick thought. Okay, I'm out of here. Bye, you guys.